Unit 1, Earth and Space. Week 1, Plate Tectonics. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray. Dear God, I praise you and I thank you for this wonderful day. Grant me the grace to understand our lesson for today. Through whatever media or modality may it be. And bless me so that I may appreciate this grace of being able to study despite of the challenges we are facing because of this pandemic. Make me realize the value of education and the beauty of learning so that each day I will be more motivated to do my responsibility as a student. Bless our classmates that they too may see your goodness in everything and see this time as an opportunity to show our love to our parents by studying well. Bless our teachers so that they will become more inspired to teach us and see this time as an opportunity to show compassion in their chosen profession. And lastly, our parents so that they may become resilient especially during these trying times. This we ask in your most holy name. Amen. Hi, it's another day and another lesson for us to learn. I am Teacher May and I will be your teacher today. Most Essential Learning Competency Describe the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts to play tectonic theory. Activity number 6. Proximity Point Our objective for today, discuss the proximity of volcanoes and earthquake epicenters. Are you ready to begin? Let's start! We need the following materials, activity sheets, maps, ruler, and ballpoint pen or pencil. Procedure. Study the map of earthquake epicenters and the location of volcanoes. Using a ruler, measure the proximity of earthquake from any volcano found in the map. Then study the records of volcanic activity within 20 years. The records for volcanic activities within 20 years may also be found in the FIBOX official website. The volcanoes found on the map include Mount Matutum and Mount Apo. This time, we will try to figure out if there are times when these volcanoes erupted in 20 years from 2000 to 2020. Based on the result, Mount Matutum showed no volcanic activity within 20 years. Also, Mount Apo is not found on the list of actively erupting volcanoes. Question number one. How close is the earthquake epicenters to any volcano found in the map? How close is the earthquake epicenters to any volcano found in the map? Time's up! To get the answer, we use the scaling, that is, 1 cm is equal to 1 km, in which we were able to get the following distances of the earthquake epicenters from the nearby volcano Mount Matutum. The following are 5 km, 5.6 km, 6 km, 1.5 km, 3.8 kilometers. On the average, we got 4.38 kilometer distance. For Mount Apo, the following distances were obtained 4 kilometers, 3.5 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 6 kilometers, 3.8 kilometers, 
in which we obtained the average of 4.46 kilometers. Volcanically triggered earthquakes have the potential to cause cracks, ground deformation, and damage to man-made structures. They typically are much smaller than earthquakes caused by non-volcanic sources. The largest felt volcanic earthquake ever recorded yet is in the Cascade Range, with a magnitude of 5.5 in 1981, under Mount St. Helens in Washington, United States. Question number two. Are all earthquakes possibly caused by volcanic activity? Are all earthquakes possibly caused by volcanic activity? Time's up! The answer? No! Question number three. Based on the records, did any of the volcanoes present have activity in the past 20 years? Based on the records, did any of the volcanoes present have any activity for the past 20 years? Time's up! The answer? No! Question number four. Is there any possibility that earthquakes can happen without any volcanic activity? Is there any possibility that earthquakes can happen without any volcanic activity? Time's up! The answer? Yes! What have you learned from our lesson today? Again, what have you learned from our lesson today? Please write your answer on the learning activity sheet. Why is it important to learn about the relationship of earthquakes and volcanoes? Again, why is it important to learn about the relationship of earthquakes and volcanoes? Thank you for listening. I hope that you did enjoy this activity and see you on our next video lesson. Bye!